Weird baseball going on in Pittsburgh today. The Minnesota Twins win. Manuel Margot with the go-ahead hit here in the top of the 10th inning. This one goes into extras, and the Twins, you know, who haven't been able to score a run uh, for a while, just scored seven runs in the, <laughs> the top of the 10th inning. You see Willie Castro pissed. This was, that was the second time he got hit in this game, but that drove in a run. Carlos Santana drives in runs. Carlos Correa drives in runs. Max Kepler just kept going. I honestly started to feel bad for this pitcher out there for Pittsburgh. But, yeah, Twins, uh, seven-run, 10th inning, which that was huge because they finally scored some runs, jumped out to a 3 to nothing lead there in the first inning, as you see, uh, and then squandered that league. So this would have been, obviously, they had a losing streak. That would have been a really bad game to lose. So great to see the Twins pulling this one off. Carlos Gray had a three game. Again, tip of the captain, Manuel Margot, who came off the bench and had a really nice game for the Twins. That go-ahead triple in the 10th inning. Uh, moving on over to the pitching, Bailey Ober, again, couldn't protect that early lead that he was given, but the bullpen did an amazing job. Five and a third innings, only three hits surrendered, and one unearned run over that stretch. Five and a third, only one unearned run for the bullpen. Great job, but... Probably the biggest thing today. I mean, the, the the losing streak getting stamped was huge. But Zebby Matthews, you see his first strike out of the game, three consecutive breaking balls, and this might be like the first time I've seen him crack a smile on the field. Such an intense guy. Uh, really established that early and then was just pumping those 96-mile-per-hour fastballs by guys. Such a challenging guy because you know you got to be up there to swing, so he gets chases, too, because he doesn't walk anybody. So guys are up there thinking, i I got to protect, i got to hit. This guy's not going to give up any walks. And I think he kind of gets in the opposing team's head. Anyway, I hadn't pitched since May 28th, was on the developmental list. They kind of just skipped some starts. There you see him making a play in the field. But seven shutout innings with three hits, no walks, of course, eight strikeouts for Zebby Matthews. We'll talk a little bit more about him in a minute. But Rain Doan Cone facing his former organization, had a four-hit game, four for five, with three runs batted in and two runs scored. Um, got Actually got a, his third hit by, by Noah Miller, the guy he was traded for. You'll see in a little bit here. Uh, but Don Cohen has slowed down a bit since being promoted, which is to be expected a little bit here. Here's that dribbler that got past Miller. Um, but he uh, does have a 628 OPS since joining Cedar Rapids in 16 games. So that's a doesn't nearly hold a candle to what he was doing in Fort Myers, but maybe this will be a breakout game for him. They do have him playing a lot more middle infield than third base. I uh, played shortstop today, uh, so it's a little, little more challenging. Moving on over, Brandon Winokur for Fort Myers hits an opposite field home run. Uh, his fifth home run of the year, you just don't see that much, and he's cutting his strikeouts while walking more. Um, he, not sure where he's going to end up in the field, but a three for four game with a walk for him today, a huge, really adding a lot of value at the plate and even on the bases. I think he's got a dozen or so stolen bases for such a big guy. Uh, so really intriguing prospect is Brandon Winokur. Here's a starting pitching run. Zebby Matthews has a 1.21 ERA and 0.64 whip in five starts with Wichita. I keep, I know he's amazing, but I keep expecting a little slip up here, or even just one not amazing start, and he, he keeps getting better somehow. It's just, he is on another level. Uh, the Twins and the Colonels win. Saints win surge and Muscles all lost today. Thanks so much for checking this one out. We'll talk again soon.